In this tutorial, we show you how to hang an object with a string using a cloth animation. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and please don't forget to like and subscribe. All right, I thought I'd do a quick tutorial on this. Select your default queue, press tab, go into edit mode, right click, merge vertices at center. That option will only be available if you're on vertex select, so keep that in mind. Press numpad one to be in front orthographic view, and then press E to extrude Z on the Z axis minus 10. Then select both verts, right click, subdivide, pull up this menu over here and crank this up to 10. Then right click, subdivide and bring this up to about four. That's looking pretty good. Next thing you want to do is select this bottom vert, go to the object data properties and create a group for it and click assign and then deselect it and then select this very top vert over here, create a group, and click assign. So I'm going to call this top pin, caps lock is on, whoops, okay, and this other one will be bottom pin. There we go, so we know which is which in this case. Tab, object mode, and it's currently called cube. Let's rename this to string. All right, the next thing you wanna do is go to your uh, modifier properties, and we're gonna add two modifiers. The first one is a skin modifier, and we're gonna make sure it's set to smooth. And as nice as this looks, it doesn't. So we're gonna add another modifier called a subdivision, uh, subdivision surface modifier and crank this up to two, and that looks a lot better in my view. I'm quite happy with that numpad one to be in front orthographic view. And we are gonna to go to the physics properties and we're gonna use a cloth simulation and we're gonna put pressure turned on. No, hold on one sec. Let's pin the top pin and if this has worked correctly, in theory, if I were to change this to 3D cursor and just rotate this this way a little bit and press play, yep, it's working perfectly. Now, all we need to do is, number one, go to back to keyframe one, I'm actually going to undo that quickly. I don't like how thick this is personally, so I'm just going to press S and I'm going to press, what do I press? Z, not Z, Shift Z. There we go. And I'm just going to bring this in, make it nice and thin. There we go, Shift Z. And now I'm going to press Shift A and I am going to use monkey head. Right click on the monkey head, shade smooth, and just give the monkey head some makeup with a subdivision of two. And now Suzanne is looking good. But now we need to go to the object constraint properties and we're gonna add a constraint. The first one is location. The second one is rotation. And we need to use the strings location for the bottom pin and the strings rotation for the bottom pin. Now when we select this, well, what we do want to do is just rotate Suzanne's head. I'm not a fan of that. So let's do that. There we go. I'm happy with that. So now we can rotate this this way. Press play. And there you have it. We've created a we've created the animation. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and please don't forget to like and subscribe.